Oh, it's gone large for that one. Oh, oh it's dropped it. Oh, it's gone for four. It's got to be, oh, no, a plate. I meant to leave that. That's a good shot. Timed just right. I believe that puts both of them on 99 not out so far. Both of them, 99 not out. IB Cricket. Oh, he's ducked under it. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to IB Cricket. Again, today, something different. I'm actually going to be playing in one of my 50 over tournament games. Not quite sure what the uh, target is right now, but uh, let's log into IB Cricket and let's get this 50 over game out of the way. Hopefully, it'll be a success. Okay, we are inside IB Cricket now. I will be playing just fifth. <laughs> and he's yet to play, so I am going to be setting Josniff one a target. Let's go. Right, we have medium bowling, what I'm not happy about. It's green pitch again, not happy about that. It's overcast. Obviously, no bat shield, 50 overs, 10 wickets. Um, his predicted score is 91, so that's not too bad. But I'm a bit worried about the green pitch, the overcast conditions, so the ball will be swinging and nipping around a bit, so it, which is not ideal. Okay, we obviously open up with Cook. And Strauss. Always try and get at least 300 on playing these type of games. I think it gives the um, your opponent something to aim for. And we do have some tricky bowling additions. I'm a bit disappointed that you can't select uh, insane bowling as a league. We're going to try and score as many runs as we can. Um, I, think I've re I think I've got about an hour before the wife comes home. It's not ideal. It does mean I'll have to rush towards the end. So I really shouldn't be playing, actually. I really should just concentrate on playing the league matches in the evening when I've got plenty of time to try and cram one in right now. My uh, ranking has gone down a bit. I was actually 81 in the world at one stage, but since I've had a two week holiday and I missed a couple of games, I've gone down to about 124, I think. I'm not sure where I am now, but let's fourth first over. I think we're going to try and play a little bit more expansive. There we go, we've defended one. <laughs> Quite getting in the, uh, the gaps at the moment. That's a short ball that should be wired. Thank you very much indeed. Happy to take E1 right now. And we've caught straight at gully or backward point. Gully. So Strauss goes for two. Not a good start. Robin Smith's in next. His average is just below 20 at 19.96. Uh, 100 to his name, 1350s. Well, okay, my timing's a little bit out right now because I've just finished playing an insane bowling match. Um, and now I've come into the medium bowling and it's a little bit... It's a, it's a little bit takes a bit of time to get the timing right. As you can see there, that should have been uh, that should have been four. There's a maiden, wicket mate. Well, apart from the wide, obviously. We do need to uh, get a bit of Scooby on. Straight, get straight to there. Still another dot ball into medium bowling. There we go, guided through the gap. First boundary. That's better. I'm waiting for that type of delivery. Do like the uh, the left arm over the wicket. And get a little edge there. It'll be a couple of runs as a midfield. I'm happy to take ones and twos for a while. Just to try and generate a competitive score. There we go, that's the one we're waiting for again. Just coming across. Coming back, should come forward really, but I'll come back and just play it through that gap there. So 
We're sticking with left arm fast. Try and get that gap between uh, mid off and cover. Once you get it through, that gap is very satisfying. Just trying to find the gap. It's difficult. <laughs> Another single. An edge. Inside edge. Four. Look at days. Not quite. A bit too early. He's played a bit later than that to get through that gap. Six off the over. It's four overs gone. Current score is 23 for one of four overs. So a little bit slow. It's got to be, oh no, the plate. I meant to leave that. I think that could have even been wide. I went to pull the bat away and just cut the toe end of the bat and caught it back with points. So Cook's gone for 14. This is not a good start at all. Joe Root's in. Let's try and uh, save some credibility here. I think I'm going to have to get plenty of singles here, I think. There's not many runs on this. Oh, I just had to go for it. And it's been saved. <laughs> it's been saved. It's gone for four. I really did have to chase for that one. Probably would have been a wide if I missed it. Actually, before as well, anything slightly pitched up and wide will be going at the middle of the bat. Just a quick look at the field. Oh, it's the over. Anyway, it's a quick look at the field. Now, we'll take on the short ball. There's no one really. Oh my god, how did I miss that? And how did it miss the stumps? Still aiming for that gap, but it gets a single for it. It's gone nowhere near. I was trying to just guide it down the gully area. It's ballooned up and mid on. I was very excited. Ooh, that one's got big. Didn't read it. single inside edge is it going to go for four it's not it's just two two valuable runs at this stage another inside edge has just flown past the off stump for four Another inside edge for four. <laughs> it's such a real laugh, it's not very good. As a bowler myself, <laughs> I know how infuriating that can be. I uh, left that one alone. Didn't want to pay the price of chasing a wide delivery. Nine of the over so far. Was it beating in the inside edge and it, I think, outside edge or inside edge? Oh, come on. Right. Where are we now? We are oh, 47 for two off seven overs. So it's one of the slowest run rates of my career so far, I think. But I'm just a bit wary about losing too many wickets. I always try and get towards 300. 
I'm also conscious of the time I've got to play. So it's a bit of a dilemma really. I don't want to start whacking the ball and getting caught out too early. But on the other hand, if I do have uh, more time than I thought, I'm not going to get a bigger score. Should have just not bothered. <laughs> but once you start your league match or league game, you can't really um, pause it. You just have to play it all the way through. Oh, that's slipped to my hand. Really worried one day the bats will come out of my hand and uh, go flying either through the window <laughs> or make a big dent in the wall. Just not timing the ball at all well today. Well, there's 50 anyway. Gone past the 50 mark. 50 for two. Still persevering with the left arm, so there's plenty of room behind square if I can get it down there. And that's, unfortunately, that's my problem with downfall. I do try and just nudge it, which can lead to edges. But if I do play too many shots in this direction, Singles, not enough boundaries at the moment. And there are men on the boundary at the moment as well. That's the one I've been looking for. That man on the boundary is going to save two runs. If I get two, everyone won't be too unhappy, to be honest. And another one. Should be another two, two more. It is another two. Six off the over, 56 for two. Lifted it over the top before. There's one more go to shot. It does come off a little square than I intend. Another edge. Oh, and it's just dropped short. Could get away with that one. He careered onto me off, um, off the inside edge. Oh, it's gone large for that one. Just out of reach. It should go for four. It is. Okay, where are we now? Ten overs gone. Sixty-four for two. Robin Smith, 29 not out. Joe Root, 18 not out. We uh, never celebrate 30s on this channel. And that's why. And I should have never mentioned it. My superstition is never mentioned, never look at, never celebrate 30s. No idea why... The IB Cricketers developers decided to ce to celebrate 30s. Anyway, Joe Root's bold. 18 runs. Big inside edge. Ben Slokes is next man in. As uh, Ben Stokes come to the crease. I did watch the uh, Ben Stokes documentary on, um, I think it was on Amazon, on, on Amazon Prime. It's very good, very well made. Sam Mendes is involved, and also he, uh, he directed a few of the James Bond films. So, yeah, it's very good, very good insight into the guy. Frustrated at the moment, I'm not able to get the runs I was hoping for. Playing far too straight, far too conservative. And I want to try and post a big enough score to hopefully win this game. 
And then another one's got to be wide up. Thank you. And it's better. Free the arms a little bit. For six runs. The first six of the innings. It's just freeing up the shoulders. Swinging all the way through the ball. And uh, coming back. <laughs> just defending that one. Plenty of time. There's plenty of time overs wise. But uh, time as in physical time. Not sure. Oh, that's an inside edge. Another inside edge, come on. Poor showing. Just playing too late. That's better. Ah. One thing I've noticed is I've faced all five bowlers now and none of them are spinners, so I won't be facing any spinners in this match. So this is a, a handy. Just got a bit tied down with decent bowling. And I'm trying to, again, trying to find one of these gaps. Singles there to be found. So there's four off the over, all in singles. It drops us on to 77 for three. Felt good, but <laughs> again, straight to cover. Right, different angles, what I need. Too straight. <laughs> straight to mid off. That's better. Guided. There's a man on the boundary. Let's do only two runs. Oh, we've got four buys. Four handy buys, thank you very much. Is that for the gap? Nope. Next over, we are now 83 for three. How many overs gone? 14 overs gone. Still plenty of time. No real uh, Worry when it comes to the overs. Only three wickets down. And that's one over the top of Gully before. It's a toe end of the bat, but still plenty of power behind it. Tried to pull it with just losing my wrists like a paddle. Okay, another six off the over. Oh, inside edge. A couple of runs. Just a one. Four runs. Been waiting for that shot. Short wide. Punched. Square the wicket. Oh, that's another inside edge. I don't know how many runs I've got off the inside edge down to fine leg. But uh, it's better than being bold, I suppose. Oof, like that. That's missed the stumps by millimetres. Oh, 
massive gap there. I'll just try and time it right. Oh, that's Seven off the over. 16 overs gone now. We're 96 for three. So I'm just looking around and now at the field. Mid off has dropped back to the boundary, so there's opposition in the city. Ooh, that's another one that I've meant to believe, and it's hit the bat. <laughs> just for one, could have gone anywhere. So mid off is back on the boundary, so there's two runs available down there. If I can find him quickly. Let's try and play it a bit straighter than that. There we go. Forcing the ball now down to mid-off if I can. Could be good three runs there. It is. Good three runs. Oh, I've gone big for that. That's a good shot in the end. <laughs> On the knees. Oh. I don't know where it's gone for that, though. Must have gone right off the end of that. So there's plenty of runs in to pick up if I time things right. There's definitely threes and twos down to mid-off. Twos and ones behind square. I'll try and make the most of this power play. And obviously don't forget to hit the ball. Okay, 17 overs gone, 107 for three. A beaten fielder there. Mid off is still pushed back. Mid on is also back. Ah, that's just one of those worst shots I've played. A slap, cross batted slap, could have gone anywhere. Just going to try and move the ball around. First one off the over. <laughs> straight to the one fielder that's there. Every time straight to his hands. That's better. Two, maybe three. It's just a two. And 50 runs for Robert Smith. I don't mind celebrating 50s and 100s. Celebrating 30s. Definitely a no-no. Mid-off is now back up in the circle. Still trying to look for that gap. Just be wary of that guy on the boundary there, or two men on the boundary. It's edge. Four. Four valuable runs off the edge. Fish, safe. Let's just get along the floor. It's uh, my favourite short, I'm going to hit those over the top. There's no slip. Tight over five off it. 115 for three now. One of those shots where I was going to play a big, expansive drive, but then change my mind. That's better. Not going to go for four. Mid off his back and saves two runs. Not reading that delivery at all. It's going to be wide up. Come on. Oh, come on. That's better. Four rounds.
two runs there. Eight off the over. And at the moment we're 123 for three. Still looking to still looking for 300. I'm going to do my target. Not even halfway there yet. Oh, come on. I think I, what I need to do is get in the old, in the old practice and uh, try and figure out how to uh, avoid hitting the ball straight to, to cover. And there's a good shot there, but uh, I think I wasted too many runs. I lost too many runs hitting ball straight to cover all the time. And we can just find a way of avoiding, like, avoiding doing that as well. Okay, another over gone. Just five off it. 128 for three. And he's played over the top. No, yes, he has. <laughs> just about to say no, he hasn't. But it's just gone over the top of Gully's head for oh, the risky shot. Oh, that's like a shout out. Damn it. Caught at mid off. Who was that? Stokes gone for 31 of 35 deliveries. Both of them the next man in. And we are 133 for four. And we've got an aerial and it's going to be safe. It's going to be safe. It's going to be safe. It's safe. Straight in the middle of three, three, three fielders. Two runs. Just trying to keep the ball along the floor, but hit the ball a bit harder now, I think. Oh, he drives. Oh, that's just pitched on the left me, I think. Yeah. 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 <sighs> push down the ground, a couple of runs there. Midoff has uh, gone back on the boundary. Oh, three runs. Happy days. I have found that there's not been many short pitch deliveries in this game so far. Well, if they have been short, they have been a bit wide of the off stump. Nothing at throat level. Nothing to be able to pull. Smash us at ground the ground instead. Just as a two. Just shot for two. And another two, maybe three for push hard. It's got a three run, surely. It is. A very good over. Six, eight, nine, ten, eleven off it. We're moving on to 146 for four. That's not his man there. Sometimes that uh, field on the deep or field on the boundaries get camouflaged into the actual uh, sp I call sponsor screens. It's okay now when it's black, but when it goes, turns blue, it's not good for their, against their blue outfit, uh, kit. There's that gap we're looking for. Slowly starting to find it. There's definitely two, and two or three runs there. Just trying to score off every ball now. Doesn't have to be four. As long as I get some runs off each ball, keep the scoreboard ticking along. There we go, that's nice. That felt nice. I think that's going to be four. I don't think it's my shot of the day so far. And a couple of runs there, square the wicket. It's just a one. That's, uh, I always worry. I always don't understand why it's always one out there. Definitely two runs there, in my opinion. Go 
I'm trying to guide those over the top. The last ball of the over. And it's a good punch down the ground. Two. So we've got there six, seven, eight, nine, twelve off the over. Did a couple of overs recently. The run rate is increasing slightly. One run. Oh, I've gone big. I've gone after that one. <laughs> I managed to get a big edge on it. And it's four runs. Oh. Ah, played on. Didn't move my body at all. Just hung my bat out to dry there. And Robin Smith's been bowled for 81. Oh, I didn't realise it was on 81. We could have. We could have at least protected and get a hundred. A hundred for YouTube. Anyway, in comes Andrew Flintoff. We are now 163 for five. Still looking to get 300, but I think it's going to be unlikely. And we've old first ball. Flintoff gone. <sighs> Played all around it. I don't read those ones. When you get the, the blue and the yellow together, I'm, I never quite read it. I don't read it quick enough. I know it's it's going to swing out and come in, or come in and swing out. I don't quite pick it up quick enough. So Jack Russell's in now to try and salvage something for me. We're now uh, 163 for six. Four wickets left. Uh, plenty of overs left. So my dilemma is, is, um, is now whether I... I think I've got enough time to play all 50 overs, or whether I think the wife will be home before I can finish. <sighs> I might have to go for the latter. I think I might have about 20 minutes left if I'm lucky. So I might have to start playing a bit more expansive, a bit more baseball like Damn it. The three, that's, that's four now, four dot balls in a row after saying that I'm going to try and play some baseball cricket. <laughs> At least there's two runs there, shall we? Okay, I think 300 is now going to be out of the question. I think now, if I can get 200, it'd be handy. Or anything above, anything above 200, anything above 300 now, or anything above 200 now, is going to be a bonus. I think the uh, combination of trying to score runs quickly and losing wickets quickly. I think there's going to be a bit of a clash and wickets will tumble. Just not picking up the length either at the moment. <laughs> it's not going very well at all today. My first game I played this morning. That's wide. Thank you. Yeah, the first game I played this morning lasted about 20 minutes. And this one is not lasting that long either. I've got lots of things. You know, I like playing this game. I like playing the, the 50 over tournament games. Because you're never quite sure how... Ah, it's an oh. inside edge. It's caught! Caught behind off an inside edge. Ah, oh, that's, uh, oh, that's one of the first times I've ever seen that. And normally it goes flying down towards fine leg. But this time, Jack Russell's been caught. Fiddling down the... Uh, fiddling? Fiddling down the, uh, the leg side. Stuart's Broad is the next man in. We are now 172 for seven. I'll let that one go. <laughs> I've no idea which way it's going to go. <laughs> the cry of anguish from the woodkeeper as the ball scoots past the left stump to the for four. As I was saying, yeah, it's nice uh, not knowing how much is going to be enough. But uh, as well, I tend to really like being the player chasing the runs it's always nice to log on and see that you only need to get 150 or something and you can uh, take your time getting 150 but when you're setting the score you're never quite sure of the standard of your opponent I mean I know it said that uh, his predicted score will be 91 but on a good day that could be anything between 200 and 300 
I'll try and stick around a little bit longer now, just to get to the 200 mark. It's big. There's two and four runs to be played behind square, so anything short, I'm trying my best to guide it. But anything pitched up, I need to try and get it towards deep mid off and claim those three runs. There you go. One left off the over. 187, I'm sorry, 184 for seven. I've just got that one. And two runs. Turn off the over. What's the score now? What are we now? 28 overs gone, 186 for seven. Both of them 23 not out. Stuart Board, eight not out. And we try our best to get to 200 to post some sort of competitive score. I think when you log on, you see anything above 200, you know it's going to be a challenge. Anything above 300, you know, you think, oh, that's a very good score. Anything less than 200, I think you fancy yourself to get. So that's why I like to see 200 on my own scoreboard. So I'm just going to take things a little bit easy for a little bit, just to protect those three wickets. Oh, anything pitched up needs to be scored off. Anything in my arc, even if it's just one or two. I think just try and score every delivery at the moment. Just get that, that scoreboard ticking. And uh, I like those deliveries. And a couple of runs there to deep mid off. Nine off the over. 195 for seven. To be honest, I'm thinking about it, it is a green wicket, it's overcast, so the ball is oh, the, the ball is moving around the pop, not that one, that was a straight short delivery. Which I've edged behind off the toe end of the bat. James Anderson is next. Stuart Broad got to 11 off nine deliveries. Look at my comparison chart. As you can see, it was a slight increase, but uh, steady all the same. Stuart, so Jimmy Anderson's in now. Still need to get above 500. And there's an edge of four. It is quite wide, so I sort of took a gamble. 199. <laughs> There we go, playing it over the top, and should be safe? It is. Just the two runs, so that takes us over 200. That's slightly competitive. going to be a bonus. Yeah. I'm happy with 200. I've only got two weeks left, so... Oh, he's dropped it! And he's gone for four! It was off the middle of the bat, so that probably did hurt his hands quite a lot. I'm relieved there. Guided, no. It's not quite timed. No. will pierce it through that gap there. I was wary of those green deliveries, the ones that the extra effort ball, as they call it. There's an edge somewhere. It's gone down for the final leg for two. Quick single there off the last ball. 210 for eight. Two wickets remaining. Which will be, okay, that can be two for this one, so I'll spread for nine. Oh no, I'm talking about two ten for eight. <laughs> He's right, well, of course it is. It's 
taking a single right now. At 19 overs left. Two wickets remaining. Out on the edge. Safely gone for four. Thank you very much. You have a mid off on the boundary. Obviously, deep mid off is always a bit of an outlet. On edge. I have no idea where it's gone. It's gone up in the air for four. I just hung my bat out there because I didn't know what to do with it. She just left it, but four bonus runners. That's a massive inside edge for nothing. 11 off the over. 2 2 1 for 8. It's a 250, that'll be a right result. And 250 would be a huge bonus right now. And it's not quite out. <laughs> A shot timed just right. Four runs straight out of the middle of the bat. Quick single. Single there. Six off the over so far. One ball left. And it's a good shot. In swinging in slightly, just adjusted the line and pushed it to three. It's another good over nine off it. So we're slowly now edging towards the 250 mark. Edge four. And I believe that's again both of them with a century. A century. With a half a century, sorry. It's one of the first 50s he's got, I think. And that's six. <laughs> it's decided now to open up the shoulders a bit. Anything pitched up. Let me see if I can get over the top of the, uh, the field. There's another one. Let's say four. That's 14 off the over so far. 250 is very much on now. Just six runs away from 250. Edgy. Ah, trying to get it over the top. One left off the over. Two dot balls after four, four, and six. And we've we'll settled for two. Very good over. 146 for eight. At one stage, 200 looked doubtful. And now we're creeping up very quickly towards 250. And there's a big gap on the other side now. Plenty of runs there, look. Just a slight toe end of the bat is going to get me two or three runs. Oh, that's the danger. That's the danger of trying to push the ball into that gap. There's always a danger of uh, basically missing it. <laughs> there it goes, two runs there. So picking up 250. Happy with that. Relieved with that is the word, I think. Relieved. Oh, come on. it too early. That's miles too early. Look at tennis ball bounce there. Golf shot four. <laughs> uh, only two. Yeah, that felt more of a golf shot rather than a cricket shot. Playing into that big gap. I could go for four. Good shot. Happy with that one. From the ten off the over. Against our edge. Yeah. 
pushing it for one. Have I scored for two? Maybe three, actually. Get a three for that. Now, question is, are we going to get to 300? If someone said to me about 10 overs ago that I'd get to close to 300, I would have bitten their arm off. But we are now 260 for eight. Plenty of overs left. This is where I can keep these two wickets intact as long as possible while I'm still getting runs. Just down the ground for two. Or is it going to have three? Is it going to get three for that? No, just the two. So just five off the over. I'm hoping the wife doesn't come home too early. Oh, there's a big edge behind. So just left that one. 262 for nine. Who was that out? Both of them. No, I don't know who was that out. Both the Tuffnell's in now. Last man standing, well, last man in, the last pairing. Just in that awkward position now. Well, I want to get 300. We've got one wicket left. And we've gone big. Should fall short of the fielder. It does. It's a quick single. Two balls remaining of this over. Just going to concentrate for this last one. Then just have a look at the game situation. Right. We are 264 for nine. Both of them still there for 69. Tuffnell just come in. He's only got the one. Um, 37 overs gone. 13 left. So I think the plan is now. Two plans. To get, three, to get to 300 and also try and get both of them to 100. That's a good shot there, straight to the fielder. Just for one. That's one of the best shots of the day. Guided nicely, but again, straight to the fielder. Another one. There is three singles in a row. Is that four singles in a row? It is. There we go, there's two ones there, maybe three. Keeping this scoreboard ticking along nicely. There's boulders going all the way down there. And uh, Middle just stood there. Brilliant. So, good over. Not too many runs scored off it, but runs off every ball, which is uh, always ideal at this stage of the game. 272 for nine. Oh, I thought it was going to be out. Just contemplating trying to hit over the top of mid off, but my timing's not great today, so oh, there's an edge, it's safe. See, I'm not very confident when, when the field's up, <laughs> not most people I don't want to waste it. There's another edge, it could be two, it's just a single. I scored quite a few runs down to fine leg today. Missed out there. So let's get over so far. Four balls gone, just one off it so far. Five balls gone, just one off it. Another massive edge. Final leg has been very um, busy today, thanks to my inside edge. on the court. Nope, it's short again, just a single. <laughs> I 
premeditated swap there. In the back of my head, I'm thinking wherever, this, wherever it happens to this, it's going to go at the ground. But again, my timing is just abysmal today. Really having to concentrate for every run today. It's one of those days where nothing's coming natural, nothing's coming out the middle of the bat. It's wide. Thank you. Fall off the over so far. Further again, a single, two runs actually. Another two there. Could push hard, could there be three? It's two. So both of them now 77 not out, Tuffle 10 not out. We're still looking to get to 300, and also as an added bonus, we'll see if we can get both of them to score a century on YouTube. There's plenty of overs left. Oh, actually, there's not. <laughs> I was about to say, there's only 10 overs left. That's, uh, that's crept, up me, crept up on me, sorry. There's a couple of runs there. I think I'm just trying to hit the ball too hard sometimes. No need for it. There's three runs there. Oh, that's a bit silly, wasn't it? Just trying to guide it down. I've got a quick single out of it. Tight over so far, just fall off the over. Happy with a couple of runs there, hopefully. So I think two more runs closer to the 300 mark. Ah, oh, that's better. Just the one for it though. Couple of runs there. The mid off. Come up to claim that one. No, Bowler's got it. Slightly up, which but safe. Plenty of room there. Another couple of runs. 293 now for nine. Edged all the way along the ground for nothing. Shot. That's four, and I think one of the shots of the day. It's very, very rare today that I've got the ball in that direction. To be honest, and maybe something to do with the slow bowling. But when I'm playing insane bowling, I do play the ball through that gap a lot more than I have done today. 297 for nine. Both of them is now 90 off 65 balls. Tuffle's doing well. 12 off 15. That's another good shot. That's not going to beat the fielder. Mid off is a little bit wider and he's saved two runs. 299 for nine. And if that single takes the 300, it is 300. Well, this is a score that I didn't think I'll be getting anything close to earlier on. Very happy to see the scoreboard tick over to 301 now. So now it's all about Ian Botham. Can we get a century? Unfortunately, Botham and Tuffle have both got the same bats. <laughs> so I don't know who's I don't know who's facing at the moment. So I will be playing risk-free cricket for the next 44 deliveries. Until both of them gets his century, if he gets his century. One ball left of the over, 305 for nine. Another defended, are you joking? Are we try. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank God for that. Oof.
Okay, we have both of them now not out on 94. Toughnell not out on 16. Um, who's actually facing? Do we know? Does that mean both of them's facing? I don't know. A bit frustrating not knowing who's facing. Let's just play some sensible cricket and see if we can get both into a hundred. I've got a feeling I've, I'm full toughening right now because the field is up. But that could mean nothing. I think he's going to be amazing. I'm a bit nervous now. I like getting centuries. Doesn't matter who it is to be honest, but I don't think I've got both into a century yet. Don't know why it's tempting. Am I going to play out a maiden in the 44th over? Oh god, that is another inside edge. Just for the one. Oof. Can't get it straight on that. Another one, just two off the over. I'm not really worried about my grand total now. That was all Tufnell. So I think Tufnell's now back on strike after getting that single with the last ball. So hopefully that's a single. And hopefully now Ian Botham is now batting. I think you're 95. <laughs> oh dear. 95 not out, I believe. And there's maybe three there. I think it's just going to be two. Could be three. It's just the two, so that's both of them should be back on strike. I think he's on 97. Oh, felt for that. That's going to be at least two. I believe that puts both of them on 99 not out so far. I could be wrong, but I think he is 99. I believe that one. That's going to be wide, thank you. Both of them, 99 not out. IB cricket. Oh, he's ducked under it. <laughs> It's wide. <laughs> oh, that's a run. That's two at least. Is it both of them on strike? Has he got his century? He has. A hundred. He and both of them. Oh, in the 44th over. That's an amazing accomplishment, considering where I was at the beginning of the game. Now 316 for nine, and, and Ian both from century. We can like relax now a little bit. We can relax and defend the slower ball. <laughs> oh, 316 for nine. 45 overs gone. I'm lucky the wife hasn't come home yet. I might be out in this over. No, I don't know why I defended that. I could literally just finish the game now. I think I've got enough to win. 316, but you never know. So maybe I should just play out all 50 overs. Run the risk of the wife coming home finding me playing cricket when I should be really be working. And that's a great shot. Oh, I was about to say it's a great shot. Again, that field is there. Sort of camouflage into the uh, sponsorship hoardings. Oh, nice. I just relied on the bounce there, the extra effort ball. I knew it would bounce a little bit a long higher, so I'm going to bat out. I've got a quick single. So far, five off the over. Shot. Two runs. To deep mid off. Puts us on two, 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 uh, three hundred and twenty-three for nine. Hopefully, I'm recording still. Yes. But what I might do for this video is not edit it too much. Because there's not many boundaries, so it will be a short video, but what I might do is just let the video play and cut out any sort of major errors in it, but as long as I keep talking, it should be fine. Oh, that's a terrible shot. Give me wide, umpire, come on. Right. Straight drive, straight to mid-off. The runs are drying up. Top of ramp. <laughs> That's just embarrassing. 
There we go, that's better. Hold the pose there nicely. Ball goes to the boundary for four. 328. So we've got a left arm around the wicket, sorry, left arm over, sorry, and cut these away. Gully's in position, sorry, backward points in position. Is gully ish, or is that, is that a deep fly slip, is it? I don't know. Middle off his back. So we've got plenty of room just to free the shoulders, have a bit of a swing, pick up some valuable bonus runners. Let's see if we can get to 350. Uh, still a couple of runs there though, to be fair. 3379. Uh, Guys, it straight to the fielder. That's a straight one. Playing it safe, so I know there's uh, not much chance of getting caught. There's a difference now between when you play medium bowling in this level. Um, it's difficult to try and guide the ball to the boundary. When you're playing the same bowling, that's when the ball the ball is going at least 90 mile an hour, and you can just glance it to the boundary behind square. But when the ball's not coming onto the back quick enough, it's a little bit more difficult. You've got a bit of force behind it. And that gap again. There's twos and threes are there. That's big. It could be caught now. It's over his head. That's six. Thank you very much. I think that could be the only the second or third six of the innings. Oh, it's out. Nope, it's just short. So uh, we have, oh, just five ball, nine balls left. Nine balls left. Can we get tough onto 50? That would be a big ask. Considering I don't know who's batting. And considering I could miss it. There we go, another good shot for two. Another 11 off the over, that's the 350 up. 352 for nine. Last over, Tufnell on 30, both them 125. Let's see if we can get both of them not out. Just to get his average up a bit at least. I don't really need many more runners, I don't believe. I think 352 is gonna be enough to win this game. And it's gone for four. Off the end, inside edge game. Another punch down the ground. A lot of runs scored down that area. That's 358. Two balls apart, two, two balls left, sorry. Oh, let's play it straight to cover. There we go. We are all out for 358. Both of them 125 and not out of 92 deliveries. Smith put us in a good position early doors. Both of them has sort of rescued, not both of them, Tough Null, sorry, has rescued us at the end just to get us over that 300 mark. If you look at my wagon wheel, as you can see, not many runs scored on the leg side. A lot of runs scored down, the, down to uh, fine leg just because of the inside edges. Lots and lots of runs scored towards mid off and quite a lot behind square as well. That's this video done and dusted. Hopefully that's enough to win the game. If you like this video, please come back and watch more. Uh, please feel free to subscribe. I'm up to over 300 subscribers now, so I'm quite happy with that. I didn't expect to get that many. Oh, that'll do for me. I'm quite sweaty, out of breath. Cheerio.